In today's video, we're going to talk about the LAC operon. An operon is uh, essentially uh, a short section of DNA that controls, uh, it contains, sorry, structural genes and control sites to turn these genes on and off. And the LAC part comes from LAC, which is obviously lactose. So let's start with some uh, background knowledge. So obviously in the cell, proteins are made at a constant rate in normal cellular metabolism. So this is obviously all the normal cells. Uh, the normal protein, sorry, this cell is going to make. However, special proteins, don't forget this include enzymes, are made at varying rates. You could either have one or thousands, it, it varies. These are known as inducible proteins. And obviously we're dealing with enzymes today, so these will be known as inducible enzymes. So inducible enzymes are essentially made when needed. You may have a few of them hanging around anyway, but when you need them, by, uh, for example, the, the lack of problem works by putting in a different growth medium, E. coli or yeast or things like that, growing in a different substance. And they obviously need different enzymes being produced at varying rates to be able to adjust to these, these different circumstances and this different medium. So right now I'm just drawing out uh, the operon, the LAC operon. So, the section of DNA, I, this is your regulatory gene. And this creates the repressor protein. O is your operator region. And your operator region is always found next to your structural genes, in this case Z and Y. And your operator region has the power to turn these genes on and off. And finally, we have P, our promoter region. This is basically a length of DNA in which RNA polymerase binds to, and this allows it to, be, uh, to begin the transcription of the structural genes which are Z and Y. So like I said earlier, I, our regulatory gene, codes for our repressor protein, and the repressor protein essentially sits itself on the operator region. However, part of it, a very small part, covers the promoter region. And because this is covering the peak region, this is not allowing RNA polymerase to bind. Therefore, transcription of the, of the Z and Y genes can't occur as it can't get past this repressor protein. And technically, this is therefore beneficial. If these genes aren't transcribed, the proteins aren't made, which means the materials are saved. I mean, there's no point creating genes for lactose if, if there's no lactose present. So this is actually beneficial to the cell in saving materials. However, if, if uh, the yeast or the E. coli or the cells that we're talking about are transported to a different medium, such as the lactose medium, say, that, say they're normally grown in glucose, they can respire glucose, they're transferred to lactose. Now, few of these lactose molecules will diffuse into the cell. And what happens is, one of these lactose molecules, as you can see, I've represented with a triangle, will bind to the repressor protein. And what this does, this changes the shape of the repressor protein as it binds in a different binding site, an allosteric site, causing it to actually leave the operator and promoter region. And for this reason, the, uh, the lactose is known as an inducer molecule. So, since the site is now free, as there's no repressor protein situated there, RNA polymerase can bind to the P. This means it can then move along, transcribing the genes. So let's think what essentially happens here. The lactose, the inducer, comes in and binds to the repressor molecule at a different site. This changes the shape of it, which therefore means it has to leave the DNA molecule. So I'm finally quickly going to talk about what the structural gene Z and Y actually uh, code for. The gene Z is beta galactosidase. I'm not sure that's how you say it, but it seems like the most appropriate. And as you can see, that's like an enzyme molecule that actually has a, as an active site specific to the complementary shape of the lactose molecule allowing it to be converted to glucose. The next one is lactose permease which is a type of channel protein that essentially just sits in the, uh, the cell surface membrane and allows the quick entry of a lot more lactose. 